What's up everybody, it's Dave here from Profitable Tools and in this video we're gonna talk about site migration, particularly WordPress site migration. So the situation here is several. You could be moving from one host to another, you could be moving a site from a staging to a live setup, or you could even just be changing your domain name or maybe a combination of two or three of those uh, scenarios all in one go. But the idea is we need to move a site from one location to another and I'm gonna show you how to do that using WP vivid. All right, so I've got a source site here. It's even called source.clientamp.com. You can see it's a very nice looking uh, print on demand business. And I want to move this over from Cloudways. You can tell it's hosted on Cloudways because it has the nice Cloudways uh, default URL here. And I'm moving it from Cloudways over to a hosting plan on Gridpane. I've got a default site already created and it's called destination.clientamp.com, but there's no content in it. So in a few short clicks, I want this site to be moved over to this site. First, First, let's get our bearings straight so you can see what we're working with. We go under appearance. You can see I've got the Astra theme installed, just the free version. And if we go over to installed plugins, you're going to see uh, several plugins already installed. I've got their Breeze caching plugin on, Elementor, the free version, uh, as well as some other Brainstorm Force plugins like their header and footer plugin, their starter templates, WooCommerce, WooCommerce cart abandonment delivery, as well as WP Forms Lite. Over in the destination site, it's pretty barren. We're running the default WordPress theme. Under plugins, there's not much going on, just whatever grid pane throws at you. You can see we have an anti-spam plugin, a Redis object cache plugin, Hello Dolly, and a Nginx helper plugin. So let's get started. Let's move the source site over to the destination. I'm gonna go to plugins, add new. I'll search for WP Vivid. Now I just released a video on WP Vivid showing you how to do incremental backups to multiple locations at once. I really think this is a very nice feature and you can get in on the ground floor with WP Vivid if you pick up their pro version right now. But what I'm gonna show you today can be done totally free without having to buy anything. Let's go ahead and install the free version of WP Vivid and we'll hit activate. Now I'm gonna go up to auto migration. Now in the next step, I need to paste in a key from the destination site over here inside of the source site. So let me hop back over to my other site. Let's go ahead and install WP Vivid over here. Plugins, add new. Search for WP Vivid, install. Here we're gonna go up to the tab that says key and hit generate. Let's copy this and go back over to our source site and paste it in. Then I'm gonna hit save. I wanna move the entire site, so I'm gonna leave database plus files selected and let's hit clone and transfer. All right, it's running. It should be moving the files right now from my source site over to my destination site. All right, it's all done. It only took a couple minutes. You can see here it says to scan the backup list on the destination site. So let's go over to the destination site and if I go under backups, I can see right down here is the backup that just got blasted through the internet, landed perfectly in this plugin. Let's go ahead and restore it. Click over here where it says restore, then restore one more time and hit okay. You can see it working here. It's unzipping all of the files that got brought in, assembling the database, and it says the restore was completed successfully. So let's check it out. I'm gonna look in the plugins first and see what's in there. Let's go to install plugins. All right, I got logged out there for a second, but I'm logged back in and I can see that yes, in fact, all of the plugins that were active on the Cloudways site have been migrated over to the grid pane site. The source files have moved over to the destination files, at least in terms of plugins. Now on the source site, I had several pages created there's eight different pages that were published, one that was in draft mode. Let's see what it looks like over on the destination site. So this is good news, the destination site is matching up. I've got eight pages that are published and one that's in draft mode. Let's go ahead and check out the homepage. So here's the destination site. And here is the source site. You can see that they match up perfectly. The migration went without a hitch. Now I'll admit I was set up to succeed here because I'm coming from a great host in Cloudways and I'm moving to another great host on Gridpane. But a lot of times when you're migrating a site from a bad host over to a good host, just doing the migration process can actually bring your site to a grinding halt and even crash it. So there are ways to do this without using the automatic migration feature. Although if it works, it is super easy and I definitely recommend it. But the best way to do it is to simply follow the directions I have right here, which is to take a backup, download it to your computer and re-upload it using WP Vivid on the destination site. So once you're settled in your new host, of course, the first thing 
thing you're gonna do is create a backup schedule and I've got a dedicated video on how to do that using WP Vivid. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Of course, I'll also leave a link to get the WP Vivid Pro version if you'd like to do that. That will be the referral link for the channel and any clicks that you do there will kick us back a little bit of a commission so it supports us to make more free content like this. Got any questions, make sure you hit me up over in the Facebook group or hey, just leave a comment down below. I try to get back to everybody. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next review.